guys so as you can see today we are in a very different location than we normally are up in the studio we are going on the road today i have got a story for you on why surveys are so important in the north carolina region so hang with me as we go to sugar mountain north carolina where i show you a massive massive survey issue that we have uncovered As promised, we are up here in the beautiful Sugar Mountain, um, North Carolina. It's gorgeous up here today. The weather has been super cooperative, which it wasn't the last time I came here. I wanna to talk to you today about surveys and why surveys are super, super important. So I'm gonna extend my camera here, but we're gonna take a look at this property. So this here is a culvert with a little stream in it, if you can see just down this way. You can see my car down there and this is actually where the driveway was so where this caution tape is though was a sinkhole and we were warned about this when we came up to look at the property that the driveway had a really big sinkhole and that we needed to be cautious when pulling up to the property so we did the front yard of the property has a real steep ravine, which also goes down into a storm drain and then levels out up here, which is where everybody would park. This side of the property, you can see the indentation, but it's badly overgrown, were stairs that had been built to go up and swoop up and around to the very top of the house, to the top floor back screened deck, which was wonderful. Now this home is in need of a complete rehab and our clients are in the construction business and absolutely able and thrilled to do that. But I want you to just take a look at this property and then we're gonna talk about the survey issue that we found. I'm gonna keep my car in this picture for a purpose, and that is to show you exactly how much land was missing from this property. So there is a house up here behind the trees. You can barely see it. It needs a lot of rehab work, and we have a fantastic client who's gonna be doing that rehab work. But when we first came to the house, we were told that this driveway here which is the only driveway access to the property, has a sinkhole, which is right here by the trash can area and by these caution tapes. So the asphalt actually caved in and driving up on the driveway to the parking pad was nearly impossible. A parking pad can hold about three cars, which was great for our clients because they wanted to potentially um, short-term rental this property sometime in the year. And knowing that, we needed space for parking. So with that in mind, when we came to see the house, we actually thought that right behind these trees was the likely property line as it goes straight up that side and there's a little storm drain culvert and everything. So it kind of made sense that that was the natural barrier. However, once we had the survey, we found out that the property line is actually here. Right where that stake is, is the true property line. So that took all of this land away and the driveway access to the home. Now this line goes straight up the property up the hill, right up there, so all the way up that hill to the very top and cuts out a significant amount of land as you can see. One of the issues with that was how do we correct this because our clients do not then have a driveway. Now up here in the mountains, there's a lot of parking pads because there's a lot of rock and there's a lot of stone. So we have come up with a plan to install a parking pad in this area here in between that tree that's marked with a pink ribbon 
and this way and they will cut into that wall of soil and hopefully not run into any granite in order to make that a more functional parking pad. So you would pull in here from the edge of the road straight up there to the parking pad and that would be um, where you would have cars parked and then you could also maybe use this area here a little bit for extra runoff of cars but surveys can be very pricey and surveys in the mountains are even more pricey than normal ones so it's really important to have your survey but not everybody wants to spend the money and they just don't understand why they should if we had not found this out, our clients would have repaired this driveway and put a considerable amount of money into it and clearing all the landscaping that needs to be removed, which is also a very costly thing to do. And then would have had probably the neighbors come over and say, hey, that's our land. So <laughs> you wanna make sure when you are buying a house that you do consider buying a survey, having a surveyor come out and give you the information on the property. This is a great mountain property, but that is a humongous piece of land. It's at least 20 feet. I haven't measured it, but it's at least 20 feet that they lost and lost the driveway. So the expense just goes up and up from there. A lot of people ask me why surveys are so important. There's a couple of reasons for that. Obviously, as you can see, it tells you your property lines, which some people just go into a house and look at it and they assume a property line and then it ends up not being the case. They build a pool, they put in a fence, they do whatever, and they end up having to take it down. So what I recommend is plan to have a survey definitely get one done. The expense is worth it. What you will find out on a survey is not only property lines, but also are there any utility easements or, or other easements that you didn't know about? Does somebody have the right to drive through your property on certain times? In North Carolina, we have a rule that if you have one of the old cemeteries on your land, you must give access to the families. And if you don't have a survey, you won't know that. So it's really, truly important to spend the money doing it. I've seen many survey issues come up before. And I think that this is one of the things that most buyers skip doing in the process of buying a home. But just knowing how many problems we've had in the past tells me how important it is. I hope that you will also consider it if you have had a bad survey experience, I would love to hear it. As the number one relocation team in Charlotte, we like to help those that are coming into the area really understand um, what their property looks like, what the process is for buying. And I would love to know your stories because it helps us share with our buyers what can happen during a survey nightmare if you will. <laughs> One of the other things that can be a problem for you is if you don't get a survey done and then someone, your next door neighbor, sells their house and the buyer purchasing their house actually has a survey and finds that there's an encroachment. Maybe some of your shed is on their property or maybe some of your fence is on their property. Um, those encroachments can actually cost you a lot of money because you're then responsible for removing that encroachment from the house that you bought that you did not have surveyed. So you can see why it's critically important to do so. Now, when we ask for our buyers to get a survey, we do price check and we do try to find the most reliable and most inexpensive survey for you, but they can be pricey. They can cost anywhere between um, $600 all the way up to $8,000. Um, depending on the land size and how much is needed to be done and if you would like a copy of the map when it's all finished or if you would just like to have them mark the corners for you and tell you about any problems. Now in North Carolina we are an attorney state and our attorneys do review surveys and give advice about what's going on with that survey and any information that can be provided to you. So please consider talking to the attorney about your survey just to make sure that there's no surprises. People ask me why we have so many survey issues in North Carolina, and to be honest, I don't know if other states are the same way. We've had a lot of generational families and generational land. So as a family owns a ginormous piece of land and then they start chopping it up and giving it away to family and then they sell it and then they get divorced and they sell it and blah, 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 blah. The, it, the land changes hands. 
some people don't realize that mom and dad said they gave you an acre, but maybe they only give you 0 0.90 of an acre, so you don't really have a full acre. It is accidental at times, and surveyors can make mistakes, but for the most part, they're pretty accurate. So be aware of that. We recently had a survey come in and there were five houses built on the back end of the four acres and those properties were actually built and fenced and have been there for almost 20 years and they were 12 feet into the property. So buyer chose to not do anything about that. That's their right to do so. They just said they didn't want anybody coming any closer onto their land, but they weren't gonna make them take their fences down. Um, I thought that was great of them. But you know, you just never know what you're dealing with. And that can also be a savings for you if you find out that you owe less money. If you find out that you have less land, you may be able to get compensation from the seller. In this case, we were able to um, negotiate a considerable amount of money for that piece of land and driveway that has been taken from them and able to work that out. So we did work through it. If a seller knows that there is some type of an encroachment or some type of um, property line problem or anything of that nature, they are required to share that information. It's a material fact. Um, if they do share it with the agent, but they don't want it shared with the buyer, the agent is still responsible for giving you that information. So ask questions, definitely consider getting a survey if you're looking for the number one relocation team in the Charlotte market, we would love to talk to you and help you with buying your home and even getting a survey <laughs> if you need one. We would love to help you do that. So please give us a call. Don't be afraid to reach out. Thank you.